and I'm still <laughs> wrapping my head around the fact that I spent so much money on this drink. You know how much I can buy with that? I mean, that costs more than my lunch. Hi everyone, in today's video we are doing trying the most expensive drink on the menu. So I am a bit nervous for this video because I'm balling on a budget. I really hope that these drinks don't make my pockets hurt too much. And mom, if you're watching this, just click off because you're gonna get upset because I know you don't like when things are expensive. <laughs> but for this video, I tried to choose some local shops as well as some chains because chains tend to be a bit cheaper. So I thought it would be good to get like a range of different kinds of shops at different price points and see what the most expensive drink is at each place. So if you're excited for this video and you want to help me pay off these boba drinks, then give this video a thumbs up and let's head to the first stop. All right, so we just stopped by Sunrise Tea Studio. We got our expensive drinks here. Well, I guess they're not that expensive. They're just the most expensive on the menu. And I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys for me to check this spot out. And I've actually been here once before. So this is my second time and I'm really excited to try these drinks. So their most expensive drinks are $5.95. And there's like a good amount of drinks that are priced at $5.95. So first up, we have the Mochi Matcha Frosty. And it comes with the drinkable mochi on the bottom, which I'm really excited about. And it's also topped with some red bean as well for those that don't know, red bean and matcha are a really, really good combo together. And then our second drink, which I technically wasn't supposed to order, but I just couldn't resist. I was intending on only ordering one drink per spot, especially because this video is supposed to be like the most expensive drinks on the menu and I don't want to go broke because of boba. Because, because of boba. boba. Um, anyway, but I really couldn't resist because everything on the menu looked so good and intriguing. So this one is the Oreo Brulee Boba Milk. It already comes with boba, and both of these were the same price at $5.95. I'm gonna try this one first because I just really want to try that drinkable mochi. Of course, we gotta plug the Feed Mei Mei Glass Boba Straw, link in the description. You can see down there, it's like, I don't know, kind of a squishy texture-ish. I'm not really sure, but I can't wait any longer to try it. Mm. 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 Whoa, it does have like a stretchy mochi like texture. A little bit of the chew for mochi, definitely not super chewy like boba or anything. It's very smooth and it's quite thick, so it's a little bit hard to suck up the straw. The texture is like smooth, kind of slippery but it's like very thick, definitely thicker than like a grass jelly or like a pudding. It's so interesting. It's so unlike any topping I've ever had in my boba, but I actually like it and I would get it again. So if you guys like mochi, I would definitely recommend trying this topping. All right, now we're moving on to the next drink. And I think this one you're supposed to shake. I'm not really sure if the other one you're supposed to shake, but I think you're supposed to shake this one because on their store, they have these signs that say shake 17 times. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh, it got on me. Ah. Mm. Mm. It's very rich and creamy from the fresh milk and also like the creme brulee type of stuff that they put around the cup. And then it's also nice with the Oreo too. I think that adds a pretty good flavor to it. The boba texture is actually pretty good too. Like it's nice and soft and chewy. It's not hard. You can definitely taste like a brown sugar flavor to it and it goes really, really well with the drink. So I'm actually pretty happy with these two drinks and considering they're the most expensive drinks on the menu at $5.95, they're actually pretty decently priced, I would say, for Bay Area standards. <laughs> like the cup is a decent size and the drinks are pretty good. So definitely not mad about this purchase. But that being said, we definitely have some more expensive places to try today. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm actually gonna go grab something to eat because it's literally like 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch yet. So I'm gonna show you guys this place because I really like their food. So let's head over and grab some lunch.
All right, so I just stopped by Peg's Noodle to grab some lunch. And before I do that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Lauren who works at Sunrite. I totally forgot to give you a shout out when I was filming over at Sunrite, but thank you so much for saying hi and thank you for watching my videos. But anyway, back to lunch, I got their jajangmyeon, which is their black bean noodles. And of course I have my car table here, which is great for eating in the car. I will have it linked in the description. I have this really cool container for the packaging where they put the noodles and the sauce separate so that way it doesn't get soggy. So here are the noodles. We got some sliced cucumber there. And then here's the jajangmyeon sauce. It's a black bean sauce with pork and some cabbage and stuff. I think onions too. And then we give it a good mix. Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It smells so good. And this huge thing of noodles is only $8.35. That is a steal. I guess since today we're getting most expensive boba drinks, I gotta counterbalance it with a cheap lunch. <laughs> Look at those noodles. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, those noodles are absolutely perfect. They're so chewy, the perfect texture, and the sauce is so flavorful, and it sticks onto the noodles so well. This is definitely one of my favorite spots and if you guys have not been here yet, you need to try it. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna finish up my lunch and I'll meet you guys at the next boba stop. All right, so we just stopped by Tan Cha in Cupertino and I got the most expensive drink on the menu, which is the matcha brown sugar with boba or something. What's it called? Brown sugar matcha with boba. <laughs> I've actually only been to Tan Chao once for a YouTube video and let's just say that didn't go super well. Dude, I cannot eat it. It is really disgusting. But I'm hoping that today I will have a better experience. So it looks like this drink is just a matcha latte with brown sugar boba and it had some kind of like brown sugar stripes all around the cup, but they kind of went down. <laughs> the boba is definitely better than last time. I guess that time I just got a bad batch or something because it was literally like inedible. <laughs> but this time it's nice and soft and chewy. It is still a little bit on the mushy side, but definitely way better than the first time. I like how balanced the drink is because the boba is really, really sweet with the brown sugar and then the matcha has a little bit of the bitterness to it. So they complement each other really well. I definitely get a little bit of the powderiness from the matcha, which I'm not a huge fan of, but overall, I think this drink is not bad. Would I come back for it though? Probably not, but I am glad that I gave Tan Cha another try because I was pretty scarred from the first experience. But if you guys have any drinks that you like at Tan Cha, then definitely leave them in the comments so that next time I decide to come, I'll have something to try. But yeah, now let's head to the third boba stop. All right, so we just stopped by T4, and this was one of the places that I thought we could get a more affordable drink, you know, because it's a chain. And T4, I feel like is usually on the cheaper side. And as I was looking at the menu, a lot of the drinks were priced at like 445 to 475. And actually 475 was the highest price on the printed menu, but I saw that they had a little sign that said like new drinks. So I asked them how much those drinks were, hoping that one of them was maybe $5 or more. And this one actually was. So this is the fresh orange royal tea and it's $5.25, but I also added crystal boba on the bottom. So that was an extra 75 cents. So this drink actually turned out to be $6, which is pretty much on par with the other places that we got drinks at today which is very surprising to me. I thought for sure T4 would have the cheapest drink. And I also got the chance to ask them what royalty is because every time I went to a T4, I was always confused what royalty means. And basically they said that it's green tea, but a stronger version of green tea. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Whoa, it does taste like fresh orange. It kind of reminds me of the drink that I got at N7 that the Bobo workers recommended to me. Definitely has a really strong orangey flavor and you also get a bit of that green tea taste at the end too. It's really, really good and really, really refreshing. Crystal Boba is seriously such a good topping. I particularly like it in refreshing drinks like this. So, oh, this is really good. So I have two more places in mind. One is supposed to be a more affordable option and the other one is supposed to be 
probably the most expensive place in this whole video. So I'm having mixed feelings about that, but let's head to the next stop. All right, so I just stopped by Gongcha and this is definitely one of the places that I intended to be more on the affordable side because it's a chain and stuff. So when I went in there, I was looking at the menu and they also have a bunch of different like specials posted all around the store, but none of them were on the menu with the prices. So I actually had to ask them like, what's your most expensive drink? And they told me that it's this one. It's part of one of the posters that's on the wall that didn't have a price, but it's the Star Jelly Grapefruit Smoothie and it's super pretty. Like there's star jelly on the bottom and it's pink. And then on top, they put some cheese foam as well. So yeah, I just really love the colors of how it looks. But then when I went to pick up my drink, the cashier actually told me that they double checked what's the most expensive and it's actually a different drink. That's the creme brulee strawberry milk or something like that. And I think I actually have tried that drink in a video before. So I will link that in the cards if you're interested in seeing me try that one. But this one is 550 and the other one is 575. And by the time she told me that the creme brulee strawberry one was the most expensive, I had already ordered this and they were already like done making it. So I couldn't really go back on my order. So yeah, we're sticking with this one and I'm actually pretty excited to try it because it looks super unique. Since it has the foam on top, I assume we're supposed to shake it up. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it totally transformed colors. It almost looks like a peach smoothie now. You can see the star jelly swirling around in there. They're so pretty. Whoa. It does actually taste kind of peachy. It's so interesting because I'm actually not really a fan of grapefruit, so I was a bit scared to try this, but it doesn't really taste like grapefruit. I feel like the star jelly is probably peach flavored, and then when I mixed it with the whole drink, it kind of made the whole drink taste peachy. As I drink it more, I do start getting a little bit of hint of the grapefruit, but it's still mostly peach. And I also don't mind the grapefruit in this context. Like it's pretty good paired in this drink. So this drink definitely took me by surprise. I was totally ready to not be a huge fan because like I said, I am not a fan of grapefruit, but surprisingly it tastes more peachy with a hint of grapefruit, which I don't mind. So yeah, we have one more place to go. And I think this one is gonna be the one that knocks all the other places out of the water in terms of price. So let's head to the last stop. All right, so we just stopped by our last stop, which was Tea Hut. And I'm still <laughs> wrapping my head around the fact that I spent so much money on this drink. <laughs> Literally, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> so this drink is called the Cheese Dragon Fruit. And I actually have featured this in a video of mine before, but it was not as expensive as it is now. And of course, since this was the last place I knew it was gonna be the most expensive, I had to go all out and try to make this as expensive as possible <laughs> because I also feel like the other places were actually pretty tame. Most of them were around $6, which is not horribly priced, I would say. So this drink is originally $8.75. I don't know who is spending $8.75 on a boba drink normally. And then when I was ordering it, there was an option to get no ice. And if you get no ice, they add an extra dollar. So then it was $9.75. And then I also added crystal boba, which added another 75 cents, which brings the total of this drink to $10.40. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You know how much I can buy with that? I mean, that costs more than my lunch. Ay, ay, ay. So yeah, I'm still recovering from the fact that I spent $10 on a single boba drink, but will it be worth it? Let's find out. I also feel like for $10.40, they definitely should give more cheese foam than this. Maybe that's just me being picky, but like, come on, there's barely any cheese foam. Like it should at least be down to like here, I would say. I mean, I could have made this even more expensive by adding extra cheese foam because if you get extra cheese foam, it would be a dollar, which I feel like this drink actually does need extra cheese foam. So yeah, potentially this drink could have been $11.40, but I think $10.40 is enough to spend on a boba drink. So let's just go ahead and give this a try. I mean, it's good, but is it over $10 good? 
probably not. <laughs> All jokes aside, it is a pretty good drink. Like the dragon fruit tastes really fresh. I personally am a fan of dragon fruit, so I really like it. And I also get a hint of the tea and overall it pairs really well with the cheese foam. So can't really complain, but it is very expensive. <laughs> and I know that dragon fruit drinks tend to be more on the expensive side, but still, even if I didn't make it an extra dollar by having no ice, and if I didn't add the crystal boba as a topping, it's still $8.75. Like that's still a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, at least uh, we get this very nice looking cup. You got the gold font. It's matte feeling. It's a very nice cup. At this point, I think I'm just trying to make myself feel better that I spent so much money on a boba drink. <laughs> but let's go ahead and try it with the crystal boba. It is pretty good with the crystal boba. I actually feel like I would prefer it without the crystal boba. So could have saved myself 75 cents there. But since this video is about the most expensive drinks, I had to add that on there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know which drinks that you guys liked from the videos, which drinks you thought were worth the price. Or if you guys want to see me do a part two and make my pockets hurt even more, then definitely leave that in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here is today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! In today's video, we are doing trying the most expensive menu no, 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 not the trying the most expensive menu. It's literally such a good topping. Oh, people are here. When are they leaving? I know, are they gonna leave? Oh my God, they're rolling down their window now. <laughs> Which I actually prefer to grapefruit. Um, excuse me. Oh shoot. Paper towel, please.